So you've just received a message from MyGov concerning one of MyGov's digital services. And I mean, that could be a Medicare benefit or like this message that I just got. It could be about your income tax return. You think, great, I'll click on it and I'll go through and I'll sort out whatever it is they want me to sort out because nobody ever really wants to spend more time dealing with the government, right? But you're a bit worried, hmm, what if this one's a scam? I've heard there are scams around with MyGov. How can I be sure? Well, I'm going to teach you a really simple method that should eliminate probably 90 to 95% of the scams out there. You don't need any special software. You don't need any special training. I promise you. And we'll use that message that I just got as the example. Because as soon as it came in, I immediately knew it was a scam. Didn't need any malware software. Didn't need any particular special expertise. Now, there are ways, of course, that you can you know, reveal things to be a bit dodgy. If you look at the email address on this one, for example, well, that's not an Australian government email address for sure. And on a whole lot of mail clients, if you just hover over the link, often it will reveal itself to be a bit sus. And let's face it, this one looks a fair bit sus too. But you don't need any of that. Honestly, you do not need any of that. I can tell you that this one is a scam without having done any of that. Why? Because it's got a link in it in the first place. So if you get a legit communication from MyGov, it never comes with a link. It's as plain as plain can be. Here's an example of one that I've had, and it never directs you to the MyGov site. It just simply says, there's a new message in your inbox. You've got a message. And that's it. It doesn't reveal any details about you, which is important for your privacy, but it also has no links whatsoever, so those links can't get hijacked. So the sensible thing to do, if you get one of those emails with, or text messages or whatever, with a link in it, just delete it. It's nonsense. If you're at all concerned because you know you've got an income tax assessment or Medicare or any other government service thing that you're waiting on, go to the MyGov site independently. Open it up in a fresh browser to use nobody's links. I'm not putting a link on this video to MyGov. I could, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want that to be hijacked or for you to think, oh, it's safe to click on Alex's link. No, go there yourself, open it up, sign in to proper MyGov, make sure it's at the MyGov site in the URL bar and go through the process there and just check your inbox there because I will guarantee you for every single one of these emails that you get with a link in it, it won't be there. That won't reference anything that you have to do and that way you can avoid getting scammed.